If you're a parent, you know how many diapers you can go through in a single day. The cloth alternative is better for the environment, but can be a lot of unpleasant work. So what if there was a cross between disposable and cloth? One company claims it has the answer. Fox 13's Kirk Yonke puts G diapers to the test. So Kirk, does it work? Here it is, the G diaper, a disposable inside with a reusable shell. The company says this is better for the environment and not as grody as a cloth diaper. Are you getting a No. Diapers are the necessary evil of being a parent. Problem is, they put a pretty big strain on the environment because they're made of plastic. They take a long time to decompose inside that landfill. Deborah Yazzie is the recycling coordinator for Salt Lake Valley Solid Waste Management. It's her job to look at better alternatives, and she knows diapers have a huge impact. Once you throw them in the trash, they, they come out here to the landfill, and you know, the, we go ahead and bury it, and that's basically where it stays. And stays and stays. Because landfills cover your trash in dirt, diapers, or any plastic for that matter, can take a long time to break down. Maybe around 3,000 years to decompose. In that sense, G-diapers are the anti-diaper. The company claims the G-diaper liner breaks down in about 90 days. This is video from their website. Many parents, like Mindy Bingham, realize the environmental impact and have considered trying something other than disposables. I wanted to use cloth, although I didn't think it would be the most convenient thing. So we introduced her to the G-diaper. A cross between your traditional diaper and a cloth diaper, the liner goes inside a reusable shell. You want to just push it in, don't fold it at all, and that way you get a U-shape. This mom was a bit skeptical, but optimistic at the same time. It could work. And of course, it could not work. We'll find out. Plus, what do you do with this liner when your baby has done his duty? Well, the entire G-Diaper process and what Mindy thinks of it later in our newscast. In the studio, Kirk Yonke, Fox 13 News, Utah.